On Monday morning, we had a visit from our Queensland State Council Secretary, together with representatives from the Marine Rescue Queensland Implementation Group, in charge of the plans to bring all voluntary marine rescue groups under the one umbrella in the near future. By all accounts, the visitors went away with the most favourable opinion of our operations and facilities. Later that day, our radio operator, Mike, it's very low tide, and there's not much difference in the tides, received a call from a 70-foot, 108-tonne fishing vessel, reporting power and steering failure approximately two miles southeast of Point Cartwright. She was requesting our assistance, and the acting skipper Glenn Pollard takes up the narrative. This afternoon, Malula Bar Rescue went to the aid of a large fishing vessel that had main engine failure and no steering. Two and a half nautical miles southeast of Point Cartwright. With the day coming to a close, we took the vessel under tow and proceeded to make our way back to Malula Bar. Before entering the river, the crew shortened the tow and observed how the vessel would behave. It was clear by the nature of the vessel it was going to be very difficult as it went where it wanted to go. As darkness fell after a couple of touches on the bottom, after some time manoeuvring the vessel in the channel, all of our rescue was rafted to the fishing vessel to try and berth it. The vessel was brought alongside a fellow fishing boat and secured. Coast Guard trained to a high standard for such occasions, but assists of this scale require conditions to be favourable and the boat crews to be at their very best. Remember that? This is Coast Guard Malulba. Yeah. All good. Uh, we rescued a 20 metre trawler. But you that weighed a few tons? Uh, quite a few. Mm. Have a look if you like. Took a while to uh, bring her in, but I guess it was all the wrong tide, wasn't it? It's only mid tide at the moment. Yeah. Hey, Helmut, how you doing? Is that a good assist? Yeah. Hi, guys. Pretty good. Did you have a good day? Sorry? Good. Good, good. It's supposed to be an easy oh, part. A short one. All good? All good. Always the paper. Always the paper. Bad boy. Got me. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Good job that one. Yeah. 108 ton. Yeah, 108. That was a heavy one. Yeah, I could see you coming in slow. 20 metres. Did you have steerage? No, no, no steering, no engine. Um, oh, wow. Three and a half metre draft. Oh, it was a mat yeah, it was pretty narrow. You could see the bottom and the way you were like trying to stay in the deep water, there wasn't much of it, was there? No, we were grounded twice when we tried to put in the taller bay and it was... Uh, yeah, you could see the mud being so, kept up. Yeah. yeah. So we managed to get him off the bottom and got him round to one of his friends and yeah. put him to another yeah, well done. fellow fisherman. Right. Good job. Yeah, big nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling me. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Hope you got some good footage. On consulting the archives, we believe this assist was performed on one of the biggest, widest and heaviest vessels we have ever handled. Well done to Nev, Glenn, Helmut, Carol and Boyd, and not forgetting Mike in the radio room.